Uh, welcome to my world of muffins uh, crazy food crazily eaten heavy fats lots of sugars here is my blueberry muffins uh, which I'll be creating my blueberries have been coated with one tablespoon of hazelnut milk and they've been coated with flour if you don't coat the blueberries with flour they're going to sink down in your cases I've got my cases here which are the larger cases from the cupcakes give it a good roll over all the blueberries will now have weight to not to drop into the uh, base. So I've got my mixes ready here, which is all organic and measured out already. This is organic uh, white flour, half a cup. Read uh, later on, you will get the whole write up. Then we've got a quarter cup of caster sugar zest of one lemon so i'm just going to use one teaspoon pinch of salt literally half a teaspoon of baking powder then goes in one fifth cup of the canola oil the blueberries will be added later on so I'm going to take a bigger spoon so I've used rapeseed oil you can uh, that's the best one I would say to use and I'm going to be using hazelnut milk half a cup of good quality hazelnut milk I don't make the full recipes purely because then my idea on the cook show is just to show you the concept. So in this blueberry muffins that we're doing, my idea is just to show you how this works. And the biggest secret in this one is the apple cider vinegar. And that's half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Go very careful because it's a large bottle with the mouth. And that's going to cause that little effervescence taste and flavor and rising agent that will be in this one. So give that a good mix and it will start working. Suddenly the apple cider vinegar, the katas, blending that with the lemon zest and the baking powder is going to do the job. The blueberries will be added in the end. Do not give it any fast whip with that. Initially, this is what we need to do now. Give it a wonderful whip. And the whipping should be quite vigorous so that a lot of air can go in it because it's eggless. Probably do about three muffins. I have got four cases ready to five. Well, let's see how it goes because I've reduced my measurement to a smaller measure and then getting my vanilla be bean extract, which is really, really fantastic. It's a paste, so it's very, very potent, the vanilla paste. We're just going to drop one, two, three, and that's good enough. And that is a massive concentrated paste. The fragrance when I'll be doing this, my oven, I'm going to be checking this at 175 degrees, 280, and that should take about 8 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. There are so many muffins right now in the market, it's shocking that it's working with mankind. So heavily dusted. 
with one tablespoon of hazelnut milk you can use cow's milk if you so wish or a2 milk is another one that i've been promoting for a wee while so those of you have not seen it you've probably lost out a lot so i'm going to just without the and here i do not do much i'm not going to do anything really as in vicious to damage the blueberries we are just going to make it a nice turn this is why we created this wonderful whip before if i used a whisker or something of the cake blending machine it would be too much time consuming and too much wastage on the machine itself so here goes in what we are going to pour in the blueberry mix muffin mix and the apple cider vinegar is going to do the trick I'm assuming that will be making four as the blueberries heat up it will almost be be like a jam in this mix you know so you do not need any extra um, additions of you know sugars and all these extra things that are added in muffins um, using another spoon as a final mix drops down so that's my mix ready to go into the oven which is preheated making sure that uh, I'm careful when I open the oven door placing it in the top tier and we'll be closing it very quickly timing it for 12 minutes and we'll be getting the set ready for the next uh, show which is going to be an almond uh, almond flake uh, cake and I'll have the different ingredients a different concept and uh, we'll be talking about how to um, actually create uh, something healthier with the cake which will be actually a custard a lot of people have not tasted almond custard so I'll be taking you into the before we go on to the the cake I'll do the almond custard in a little short break Jihan, I'm having a, a look the way the cupcakes are rising wonderfully. Let's get the custard going, which will complement my almond cake, uh, which is going to have almonds and ground almonds and also almonds on the top. So I'll be adding in a, a cow, three quarter cup of uh, almond milk. We need to heat that, boil that. But in that interim, I've got my uh, custard mixed, two tablespoons heaped of custard into a quarter cup of almond milk. So any little lumps at the bottom must be cleared off because you'll be wasting the very fine bits of custard. But right here, I've got my agave sugar. I have got a rose uh, uh, essence and I've got my bowl here you'll wonder why what is a bowl doing in the middle of my cook show that will be a mystery for you to uh, find out very shortly once we get the boil of the milk as soon as it starts boiling the secret to make a good custard obviously is to get first all the milk and the custard mixed up it shouldn't be in lumps if it's in lumps that's no good and then quickly start whipping it if you want it any thicker i have my got my custard as a backup i've got my almond milk here as a backup and that is to your prerogative how you want it so really that's your choice so just getting this quickly mixed up as soon as the milk comes to the boil or heating up as you can see is beginning to get warm We'll be dropping in the custard uh, mix and then whipping it very fast. As soon as you put this and making sure that the final bit has gone in, you need to start 
mixing it so it does not lump at the bottom and as soon as it starts thickening you need to close it which I am going to and adding some more milk if you so need to cooling the custard down I'll be adding in a few drops of rose uh, essence and uh, as this is going to be cooling down I'll be adding the agave sugar ready to serve this is now going to go into my bath which is going to cool the custard down quickly to stop it from getting any thicker so whilst we're going to be doing that into the new set preparation I'm going to be taking you to the almond flake cake and then serving that with a wonderful custard stay tuned for my second set to be uh, to be prepared for the second part of the show सारा प्रोग्राम हाई डेफिनेशन से कवर किया जाएगा जे तुम गुरु महाराज के पैगाम घर घर तक पहुंचा चाहते हो तो अज ही प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्ड करवाने संपर्क करो जीरो डबल सैवन जीरो टू सैवन फोर एट नाइन जीरो सिक्स से eggless blueberry muffins the ingredients is as follows half a cup of organic white flour half a teaspoon of baking powder quarter teaspoon of salt zest of one organic lemon quarter cup of caster sugar half a cup of almond milk or hazelnut milk either one of those two one fifth cup of rapeseed oil half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and half a cup of blueberries which should have been dusted with the flour with one tablespoon of the almond or hazelnut milk so it sticks onto the blueberries and they actually stay in the muffin cases mix all the dry in condiment ingredients and then the wet ingredients blend it well add the blueberries into the final well blended batter heat your oven at 175 degrees prepare your muffin cases and add the filling into equally into all the four cases cook for about 12 minutes or till the cocktail stick appears a dry or a knife that's ready cooked and serve hot or cold the second recipe was an almond slab with almond custard the ingredients are first was for the almond custard was two tablespoons of custard blended with almond milk which is just about a quarter cup take half a cup of almond milk heat it just as it's boiling whip in the almond milk which has been mixed up with the custard very vigorously till your required thickness add in um, any other extract or almond extract which is optional and two tablespoons of agave syrup with half of rose water or extract which is the purest form for the almond slab the ingredients are as follows half a cup of organic white flour a quarter cup of the crushed almond powder a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom powder a quarter teaspoon of baking soda crushed almonds was uh, the quarter cup a quarter cup of unsalted butter quality five tablespoons of whole milk and optional is half a teaspoon of almond extract mix all the dry ingredients and then add in the butter whip that up to make it very creamy and white ish add in the milk and whip it up further uh, prepare your baking dish of six inches line it put the mix and put it into the oven for about 12 minutes putting the uh, crushed or the flaked almonds just before you're going to put it into the oven so they don't sink down serve that with the almond custard
जी हाँ वेलकम बैक टू दिस पार्ट ऑफ द कुक शो हियर आव गॉट माई मफिन ब्यूटिफुली ब्राउंड एंड ऑल्सो विद द गुडनेस ऑफ ऑल द the blueberry is coming out and jumping out i'm going to leave the oven at the same temperature because i'll be making my almond flake cake at the same temperature so these are so wonderful nice bouncy you can brown them more if you want to the best way to check any cake is take a knife if it's coming out clean other than the blueberries which have broken in or given their goodness it's it's ready and it's cooked you can brown it more but the more you brown the cakes will become quite heavy and dense so i'm happy with this All right let's go on to the other uh, almond flake cake which is quite simple as well here we've got uh, the custard ready which is going to go which we showed you before we set up the whole kitchen again and we've got uh, ground flakes almond custard sugar everything is measuring up to the measurements i'll give to the end of the or the middle of the show the, uh, the sugar flaked almonds 2 tablespoons of almond milk and a quarter cup of unsalted butter so everything actually goes in here into my larger bowl i have got my baking dish ready here which is going to be like an almond slab it's not a bouncy cake so in goes the sugar the one heaped dessert spoon of crushed almonds without skin cinnamon a half a teaspoon of cinnamon dalchini the powder baking soda less than quarter uh, more than quarter less than half so we're going to go about this much we'll take in uh, the dry condiments mix them all up the essence of the cinnamon powder is going to be glorious when you put this whole mix into the baking uh, dish which is ready so this is about 6 inches of my tray which i've greased and i've lined underneath if you notice that's lined make or uh, make sure all the ingredients are beautifully mixed the dry bits before we put in the butter and the 2 tablespoons of almond milk you can go for other milks uh, some people may use rice milk but it's rather sweet so that the sugar content would be a little bit more so in goes in a quarter cup of unsalted butter going to blend that in slowly so as it's becoming like bread crumbly we'll be adding in 2 tablespoons of almond milk and we will see how the mix goes because again i broke this recipe down from 2 cups down enough to make it for our cook show so i'll be adding in and the rest of the fat which is in the cup the butter serving the al uh, almond slab almond cake with the custard almond custard so they all complement each other don't they and uh, hazelnut milk that's also your choice as i suggested you can use any other giving it a good whip again the mixing has to be very good so total of 5 tablespoons of milk goes in here i'm happy with that mix that goes into my tray here and then we'll be using the almond flakes making sure all this is mixed up and spreading it out and as it's going to cook and just giving it a good turn around so as you're doing this keep spreading it so it's touching the base and the edges of the tin evenly finally i'll be putting on the almond flakes at the top which i've never done for a long time there was a cake that was very favorite of my dad that used to be an almond slab cake and it i called it a sand cake because the grit was amazing and we be going to be pouring all the flaked almonds on top 
and that will be complementing the custard. Um, it could be served in the evening to your guests or in the afternoon tea time. And that will be going into my oven for about 12 to 15 minutes at 175 degrees, the same temperature as we had the muffins. And I'll be taking you to the, the plating section and how to serve this cake with the, um, the muffins which are here right now. So let's plate them. So either you can take them off the case or with the case, that's your wish. But I'm going to be taking one off the case still very hot and it's still in its cooking process wow very hot yet so let's just put them here With the custard, obviously, what I did was added the agave syrup, as I told you, um, uh, as an alternative sugar rather than uh, uh, sugar sugar, and it will taste much better. The sugar will not be jumping at you because the sweetness of the custard would come from the milk I've used. Uh, that's the almond milk, and then the 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 essence, the rose will be jumping at you. The flavors serve the uh, the uh, the blueberries either with uh, the compote of blueberries that if you don't know how to make it you may have seen my series in which you take the blueberries and you just uh, heat them a little bit drain uh, take a sieve and uh, this uh, whilst you're de-skinning it in the sieve then you can add in a little bit of uh, a pinch of salt and a bit of lemon and that becomes your compote to serve with the blueberries again this could be just taken to work because it's a great experience you know just to have something nice which is different and homemade so easy to do and it was so simple with such a small quantity let me now wait for my cake to be baked and then i'll be taking you to the main plating section with serving that with my almond uh, custard after a little short break Jihan, that's a bleeper, a good sign saying that the cake is ready. Just to stop the bleeper to have a look, getting my oven gloves and like having a look. I did poke it in between. That looks fantastic. I will have to wait for this to cool down. I've got my custard here, which is ready to be served using some agave syrup as my sweetener flaked almonds on top as many or as little as you want and just waiting for the cake to be set so as the cake is cooling down i can see it's setting away from the it still needs cooling down so i, I will not be able to plate this yet because as you can see it's otto uh, chutrea from the baking tray so let the cooking the cooling process happen for about 10 minutes serving that with a wonderful custard on a fine hot evening or in uh, you know for a tea time to you know it's not heavy it's beautifully baked and if you see that all the almonds are toasted they were just flaked almonds with the crushed flakes look at the recipe which we always run and people try it and they give wonderful compliments of the cakes that are literally foolproof uh, i hope you've enjoyed this evening's show and we will be taking you to another superfood superfoods as in nuts and seeds and flowers and um, the garlic the black garlic that's carried on from the series of the spring summer and looking into into this spring summer season as well i'll be hoping that i'll be creating some more recipes more like barbecue summer foods to help you under, uh, you know enjoy foods that are light and easy to eat have less heavy on the liver and a wonderful you know concept of uh, the good nutrition that combines with good foods with organic foods 
using the right waters and keep watching the cook shows, mahal shows and the chat shows which will give you a variety and whole host of information. The health shows actually complement the cook shows because I look at what is the weakness of the foods in our public community and then uh, use those weaknesses to help enhance your health. Your health is your wealth, food is medicine. Let me take you to another evening of very good recipes that I'll create. These recipes were all created in the very early hours of the morning. We rush off to the stores to get fresh produce and to create them on a mammoth task, which is, uh, you know, with great gratification for the team, the editors, the cameraman, and it's a collective project. But from my side, taking the whole day off from the clinic, it's a mission and certainly a mission accomplished because I see lots of youngsters enjoying the cook shows. Let me take you to another cook show on a very fine evening evening watch it every wednesday on 7 30 p.m on facebook on a live call net on your television on your phone mobile watch it anywhere where you can help your children to actually gain information from my cook shows take care of yourself and each other and have a very fine evening Watch the same repeat of the show on a Saturday at 11.30. May I say goodbye, Tzatzika, Namishkar, Adab and Koheri to all my wonderful listeners. Goodbye and God bless you.